Thank you for joining for yoga today. We're gonna to start standing today. We do a little shoulder work, so be gentle with your shoulders if you've got any concerns. And if you've got tightness, this will be the one to do. All right, so we're gonna start standing. Let's take a minute to land here. Sweep the arms up, reach for the ceiling. Great big stretch all the way up. And hands down through heart center, let the eyes drift closed. You've got your chair there. Just take a moment, settle in, let the eyes close. Kind of bend the knees and tuck the tail, pull the shoulders back and start to feel your feet. Find your breath and just relax into this moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Just watching and settling, letting go of everything that came before this moment, everything you expect to come after. Just begin to gently see if you can link the movement with the breath. So sloshing it over to one side as you breathe in. And make it nice and slow. As you exhale, sloshing it over to the other side. Just a gentle rocking. Imagine like a wave just coming in and going out. Feel the breath as it comes in. And flow out. Just following the breath. Your mind goes from ready back to the breath. Feel that gentle rocking, not a big movement, just a going from side to side. Nice. And allowing the eyes to drift open, make your movements a little larger. We're walking over from one side to the other. Feel the weight shift, feel the hips move. See what's going on in the shoulder. Just rocking gently from side to side. Moving into the feet. We're gonna do a little bit further this time. Roll over and see if you can come up on the sides of the ankles, on the sides of the feet. And then roll over on the other side of the foot to feel that stretch right along the side of the ankle. Don't always get that stretched out, but it's actually important to keep the foot from rolling in one side or the other. Come up on the side of the foot. We usually go front to back. For today, take a moment and feel what it feels like to go side to side. Taking it over and back. No hurry, no place to go over and sliding on back two more times see if you can keep it with the breath breathing in to one side breathing out to the other nice. come back to center and rock up forward and come up on the toes you can straighten those ankles right up so you lift the kneecaps the whole front of the leg is active as the toes come up you're purposely holding on the toes stretching out the extensor digitorum, I couldn't think of a common name for it, but uh, the thing that keeps the toes from rolling under is extensor digitorum. Anyway, roll back. Come up on the heels, pull the toes back, lean back towards the chin. Exhale, roll back up on those toes. Come all the way up, nice and tall. Find that straight, tall line. Got the chair there for support. Then roll down. And come up on those heels. Pull it up as far as it'll go. See what your hamstrings want to tell you about your legs this morning. Pull it up and roll it down. Last time we're up on the heels. Just pull it up, pause here. This is our last one. Drop the feet down. Maybe they need to be shook it out. Whatever micro movement makes it feel better. Come back, land on all four feet. Now that you have that grounded feeling, sweep the arms up. Huge inset, inhale, reaching up, one arm up and the other one down. Reach as far up as you can. Pull it up and then pull the other one down. Reaching tall, feel it right up out of the hip flexors, all the way up to the top of the fingers. Pull it down, lifting it up across that hip. Feel it reaching, side body, a little bit of the front going on. Big stretch up out and bring that hand down. 
last one. Take it out. Reach for the ceiling. This time, leave it up there. Take the other hand out to meet it. Take out both hands. Interlace the fingers. Push it away. Find a little back bend at the top. Use them over and shoulders. So tuck the tail forward this time. Bring the arms back as far as they'll go. There's a tiny bit of a back bend here. Reach those arms back. And bring them down in front. Roll the shoulders down and back. Feel that shoulders come down. Make it intentional. Drop the hands down in front. The hands are active. The arms are stretching even if they're just relaxing down. Inhale. Reach it up again. Take it high. Reach it up. Take it back. Your hands don't come together, just bring them parallel, but keep them active. Bring those fingers apart. Keep the hands moving and busy. Or extended. Not busy. Roll them down. Alright, this time. Take them both up. Sweep those arms up. Maybe they're interlaced. Maybe they're not. Change it up here, taking it into a side bend, leaning over. Roll the shoulder back. It's our first side bend. Take it to that feeling of sloshing from the beginning. And over, changing hands. That's the gentle wave. Slide that hip in there. See so the hip comes out with a little lever. Be careful on the arms, be careful on the back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, take it over. Slide it down. And over. All right, take it up one last time. Slide it over and hold into that deepest part of the stretch. Push those arms back a little bit. No compression in that low back, be careful. Push up, lean over. And sweep it up. Let the arms come down. And as you come down, bring the arms down the back of the legs. Slide it down as you come into that first forward fold. Keep the tail pushed back. Back as long and flat as you look up. And then slide the hands down as far as they'll go. You need, you need a chair, but just take it to the part where it's as good as, you, as far as you want to go. Say good morning to those hamstrings as you come down. Maybe you touch the floor, maybe you touch the chair. Wherever it is, it's the perfect place. Tuck the chin. Round the back and come on back up. And as you come up, roll the shoulders back. Got it. Two more. Sweep the arms up. Reaching up. Inhale, this time we're going to bring the arms down through heart center. This can be a little harder. Yeah, if you need to support the hand or support the arms. Support the back as we come down. Bring it down, flat back, tuck the chin, look behind you. Find that great forward fold. And then inhale, come on back up. And one last time, roll the shoulders back behind you. Sweep the arms up. Inhale, bring it down through heart center. Last time, and down. Just move it on down. We're just releasing the back. This time, as you come down, twist a little left and twist a little right, side to side. Just a little gentle rocking again with that wave motion. Slide it over to one side and then the other. Maybe make a figure eight on the floor. If you're on the chair, same idea, just rocking back and forth. And then come up, slowly dip it down a little bit. Come on back up, roll the shoulders down. Just take a moment, settling in. We've done a lot of forward fold, and a little bit for shoulders, a little bit more. So bring your hands back behind you. Interlace the fingers. If you've got the space, you can even interlace up by the wrists, or by the elbows. Find that place that's comfortable. Just let it hang for a moment. Not doing any hard work here. Just find that comfortable spot. Roll the shoulder blades back and together and lift that arm up a little bit. See what happens when you pull the arms up. Drop the shoulders down, but not hunch it up. Bring them down and lift them high. Lift it up. Hold it here. Just begin a forward fold. Some fine place to begin, wherever is comfortable. We'll get to the downward dog. Find that forward fold where we've got some extension in the shoulders. Pull it back, lift it up, in and down, and come back up nice and slow. Take it off to one side. Feel that one shoulder drop down. 
foot over and then take it over to the other side. Same thing, that pulling, not hard. Take it over and bring it back. Then take it over to one side, drop the ear off to the opposite side. So the ear to the shoulder, feel that stretch. Bring it up and over, pass to the other side, to the other sh shoulder. Arms and out and down. Move it just a tad so if you find a stretch. Should be right here in the neck. No, no. Bring it down and back. And let it go. Very control of those shoulders. Let's let it go. I'm going to take the feet. I'm going to roll them out. A little more work for those ankles. Roll the heels out so that legs internally rotate. Feet are pointing towards each other. And then roll them out again. Now the heels are pointing towards each other. And then roll them out one more time. There it is. All right, a little bit of skandhasana. So just kind of wagging the tail to start. And we're gonna begin. Shoulders back, nice and tall on the top. And we're just rocking side to side. Careful of those hips, or careful of the knees. As I'm talking to you. Don't go as far. Just bring it up gently, coming up, slowly going down. Not rushing. Take it up, bring it over. Find the depth that works for you. Try and keep your feet forward this time. We're going to do a little work with the feet today, too. We're coming up and going over to the other side. And one more time on each side. We're going to take it up. And the last one on this side. Back up. Standing tall. We'll tell the feet in just a tad. We might have a little bit wide. We're going to do some squats. A little goddess pose. So we're going to sweep down. We're just going to come down in. Legs are wide. This time the feet are pointing forward. Next time we'll change it. Just bring it down and bring it back up. We're taking it down. Coming into that spot, we're just going to do three, take it down, bring it up, it's two, nice light white, wide legged squat, take it down, and bring it up, all right, we're going to turn the heels in, so the feet are just a little bit closer together, maybe adjust it a little accordingly, same thing, three squats, but this time the toes are pointed out, so we're coming down, the legs are a little closer together, Notice the difference. Take it down and bring it back up. Perfect. Take this in a little bit more. This time, turn the feet in. You're going to notice just slightly and not too pigeon toed. So bring it in. You're going to feel it on the external hips here. Watch the knees because this can get a little deep on the knees. So if you have any knee issues, any replacement parts, let me know. We'll take a little squat. We've got the chair. Explore what's available today. So that's one. Take it down. And back up. That's two. And one last time. We're taking it down. On that nice squat. And come back up. Ooh, get it. All right. Step it in. Let's take the back of the chair. Some places a little more familiar with grab your chair and get those legs moving today so take it back we're going right into down dog so just find that spacing four or five steps back from the chair we'll adjust when we get there so find that spot we're not really doing anything we're just getting our spacing and then take your favorite foot forward the opposite foot back roll the toes under it's so much of the squat. We're just going to bend the knees, but I want you to really push back through that heel. Feel the toes roll out. Yeah, roll out. Feel that knee bend and then come back up. Straighten your legs. Take it down, adjust accordingly. Maybe the leg goes back a little further and the knee comes up a little farther, farther in the front. And you 
to side. Come on down and up. Then we're going to add on if you've got the space in the shoulders and the balance. Sweep it up and in the crescent. And down. Great. Find the one that works for you. You can always just do one arm and hold the chair. And then breathe down. One more time, we're going to take it up, or take it down, reach it up, and get a little pause here, push back through the foot, that back foot, really roll the toes under, stretch out those muscles I was just talking about, and there you go, breathe in, step into the down dog, we're back, bring the weight onto the arms, push the tail back as if someone's pulling you back, now we're just going to bend one knee and then the other, and working out those hips and hamstrings. Just relaxing everything in there. Bend one knee and the other, feeling those hips move too. Hamstrings straighten, stretching them out. Find the perfect distance from the chair. Just pedaling. All right, you got it. We're gonna take it into the shoulders now, so maybe you need to go back a little further belly towards the floor and then drop the head between the arms. Look down at the floor. There's weight up in these arms. It just gives you that space in the shoulders, opening that up. You should feel a little bit in the mid back, just below the scapula, just below the shoulder blades. It's chin points down to the floor, stretching out those arms. And then tuck the chin and round the back. Come on back up. We're in the cat cow. Here, we're going to take it back down, belly button to the floor, feel the shoulders, tuck the chin and round and come back up. And last time, belly button goes down, head goes down between the arms. Feel the stretch, whatever works best for you. Find the space that's careful with the back. second leg in and the front leg back just changing it up now so there we are find that perfect distance roll the toes under wiggle it back there and just begin the lunge notice what's going on in the hips what's going on in the quads what's working checking with the body we'll tell you what needs work <laughs> For three, this is three. And take it up. And last time, take it down. We're gonna add on that crescent lunge. So the toes are under. Bring the arms out. One or the other, but either one or both. Sweep it up. Reach that arm out. And bring it down. All right, just work, working it up. In the crescent. One. We're going to hold it, sweep it up, reach for the sky, take that arm up, reaching tall, push back through that back leg, really keep it active back there. Exhale, bring it in, step it in, got it, just tap it out, move right on into some balance. So just tapping it, we're going to lean in, we're going to come right into warrior three, just a little balance pose, just get us going. We're already comfortable here. So you've got the chair. Maybe you, you can lean on it. Maybe you can just use the sides for support. Maybe you don't need any support. We'll play. But grab your favorite leg and kick it back straight out. Just roll the toes down towards the floor. Check and see if your hip is up. You want it down. We're going to close that hip as we lean forward. There's a lot of work going on and a lot of muscles. So you can find that as a stretch and a strength work. And find a balance. Ah, not going to happen today. <laughs> All right, kick it back. There it is. All right, one arm, one leg. Kick it out. There it is. Find that balance. Maybe it's here. This is just as good. There's so much work going on right there. Bring it in. Set it down on top of the other foot for a low tree. So you've got the 
three, tuck the tail under and take the shoulders back, straighten out that spine, <clears throat> find that perfect place. So lift the arms up, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, bring the arms down slowly. Feel the legs trying to keep you upright. Amazing the way they work. Take it down. So many little tiny muscles have to work to keep you up straight. Just loop it up. Reach for the sky. Breathe down. But this time we're going to change it up. So bring it down and find a different place. So maybe it's here. Maybe it's at the top. Wherever is comfortable for you. Wherever is going to work today. So tuck the tail under. Roll the shoulders back. See what happens. As we reach up out of that into the tree, take it down. Roll the shoulders back. Full range of motion. Got to move that tree. Let's move it up. One more time. Take it in. Bring it down. We're going to get a little crazy today. We're going to do something new and different. So we usually do a little pigeon or figure four stretch seated. We're going to do it standing. So now you can put the ankle on the knees, we always do. If that's comfortable, because we're going to go down into a chair like pose. So this is, or you can either put it here, cross at the ankle. You've still got that external rotation of the hip adductors. But let's find that place and begin to come down. Now we've done a lot of squatting, we've done the tree. Here it is. Say good morning to that. Opening it up, just sitting down as if you could sit. Maybe it's a balance pose, maybe it's just a strength pose. Either way, it's fantastic for you. And come on back up. That was just a goofy one. Throwing it in there to mix it up. Take it up. I'm going to sweep right over to the other side. Take it up into your, your figure four stretch. Again, here, low on the ankles. Same work just doesn't have the extreme external rotation. So you can do it there, or do it here, wherever works for you. Again, here, there's a great stretch in the back. Good work for the hip. Maybe it's a balance pose for you. Find your place today. There it is, bring it up, stand it up, let it go. Let's come into those tree poses on the second side. There it is. Hips a little bit opener. Roll to open. And sweep it up. <laughs> Reach for the sky. Take it in and just for fun, wobble a little like you're blowing in the wind. Just a willow tree swooshing around. Make your body work for it. Sweep it over. Bring it down. It actually is better for you to wobble because all these little muscles have to sort it out. Keep you upright. Reach down. Bring it down. Let it go. If you were wobbling, so you get bonus points. All right, second tree. Find that second position. I'm gonna do this one low, just cause. Sweep it up, reach for the sky. Standing tall. Sweep it out. Last time, take it back up, you got it. There it is, we are almost done. That leaves us just that warrior three balance on the second side. So try to remember which side you started on. And take the other leg back. Kick it back, lean in forward. Find that perfect place, point the toes down to the floor so the hip is not up, it's down. Maybe it's a strengthening pose for you today. Maybe it's a balancing pose. You decide where you want to go with it. And bring it in and set it down. All right, we made it this far. Have a chair, let's have a seat. That is enough. Slide it down. Find your comfortable place. A little more for the shoulders. That was enough for the hips. So sitting up tall, we're actually going to bring the arms up from behind the neck. Just slide the arms back there. Pull the 
shoulders back. So pulling them way back. Feel that stretch. A lot of the chest muscles attached to the arm. Pull the arms back. Yeah, chest gets stretched. Keeps us from rounding. Otherwise, bring the elbows in towards each other. Bring the chin to the chest, but try to have a little resistance. Take it down. We're not pushing. There's no pulling. We're just letting it drift down. And then on the inhale, bring it back up and open it out. Take it out wide. Feel that stretch. Take those arms back as far as they'll go. Feel the shoulder blades come together. And then exhale, bring it in and around it down. See, we're sitting up tall. We're not collapsing. We're sitting tall. Put it in. And take it out and up. Reach it over. Look up at the ceiling. Maybe it bones, bones there. And then take it down. Looking down, you can explore. Chin to chest. That spine is still tall. A little stretch there. Bring it up and open, come back up, seated. Keep the arms right where they are in a little side bend. We've done these already today, so it should be easy to find. I'm just gonna pick your favorite side and drape on over. Notice how the arms change the work. Got a little extra weight now as you come up and then lean up to the other side, just taking it over. There it is. Find that stretch, where's the arm? Can you find a stretch in it? Even in this position, let's act it. Bring it up, shoulders back in the center, find that straight line and then lean. Both hips stay on the chair. right into a twist from here. So again, spine is tall, sitting long. Look over to your side. And then come back. And look over to the other side. Feel the work in the legs, feel the work in the arms. That twist in the spine, so much going on. Coming back, twisting to the other side. go. Let's take it across the body into a full twist. Nice and tall, spine's long. A little energy there going behind as you look back behind you. And then come around. Swing, swing right on over to the other side. Take it over. And come back to center. Roll the shoulders back. Just right, roll them. And one more time, take it out. You're gonna scooch a little bit forward in the chair and bring the arms back together. We did the standing, but you'll notice a big difference now that we've done all the work. So take the arms back behind you. Pull them together, pull those shoulders back and down. Bring the heart up. Lift the back up a little bit, the arms up a little bit. And maybe come towards that forward fold again. We're standing and we're seated. A little bit different work. Taking it down and bring it back up. Roll the shoulders and give them a little break. And then energize the shoulders and come back. Pull them back. And bring it down. Belly button and thighs here. Take it over. And gently bring it back up. Those arms go. Roll them out. Just give them a little wiggle. See how that feels. All right, so you got it. Let's get you back in the chair. Find a comfortable space. Take your back of your back. Back of your Take your back all the way to the back of the chair. Bring your shoulders back to the chair. Find that tall, that long, tall space. Inhale, reach for the ceiling as we come into close with practice back in a moment. Bring the hands down through heart center. Allow the eyes to close and the hands to drift onto the lap. Take the back against the back of the chair. Come back to the breath. Just find that moment. Find your breath. 
notice what's different. We're just checking in. What feels different in the body? How the shoulders feel? How the hips feel? Take a moment and be grateful that you showed up. Think of what you do. It's just magic. You show up, do the exercises. Feel the difference in the body. you love, those things you're truly grateful for, and let a smile come to your face. And just let it fill you up with a cascade of good and good gratefulness. Just a moment of stillness. same moment. Maybe you want to stay on for what's going to happen. Enjoy the rest of your day.